And the Oregon Government Ethics Commission has dismissed a set of complaints made against members of the Board of Josephine County Commissioners. Currently facing several pending ethics and labor law violations. So what? Uh, a disgruntled HR director who knew that his job was in jeopardy. What were we talking about? That's what's important. He is making allegations that he has stood in our office and he has seen myself and Herman Bearchigger uh, in his office uh, having secret meetings. The complaints were made by the county's former HR director. The complaint involved possible violations to policies and procedures during a meeting that took place at the end of April. A motion was made to dismiss the complaints and end the preliminary investigation. Each motion passed five to three and all three matters were dismissed. There has been no violation of public meeting law. A disgruntled HR director who knew that his job was in jeopardy. He is making allegations that he has stood in our office and he has seen myself and Herman Bearchigger uh, in his office uh, having secret meetings. Ask him, what were we talking about? He doesn't know. So Dan DeYoung, Commissioner Dan DeYoung, sat in my office one time for 20 minutes. You know what we talked about? Cars. Dan having 15 cars and how he was tearing this and, one apart. And that's not a conflict, uh, no, uh, no. commissioners talking to each other? So it's called, if, if there's a conflict, it has to be about deliberating. You're talking about a county subject and you're deliberating coming to a decision. We can, we can, all three of us can be in each other's office. Collaborating on like, hey, I'll vote this way, you vote this way. Exactly. And, yeah, right. That has never happened. I've been at Commissioner Bearchigger's office, and we talked about uh, his son and his, his, his uh, engines on his fire stuff. We've talked about uh, Herman uh, going to Africa. We've, uh, we've talked about everything that had nothing to do with this county. That there is nothing illegal about that. We all three have stood at the counter and talked about the weather, we've talked about all kinds of things, but it, nothing about county business, not deliberating, not coming to a conclusion, not even discussing county business. There is nothing illegal about that. So the, the allegations made by a disgruntled employee are false and have no qualms. Yes, and I, I, listen, I've urged people that are watching this that these all of these um, ethics allegations are um are kind of used like lawfare you know against somebody that you don't like you want to sully somebody's reputation you throw a whole bunch of ethics violations at them there's nothing you don't have to meet some sort of credibility criteria to file an ethics charge against somebody you just do it and uh and and in the short period of time um you know, from the filing of this recall to um, the the date that they have for uh, meeting um, all of the signatures that they need, um, it only has to impress people for that period of time. Well, it may take that long for the ethics violations to go through the pipeline. So mission accomplished, you know? And um, so I, I would just urge everybody Unless there's been some finding of fact on the basis of um, these ethics charges or bully charges or, or whatever, uh, they should be disregarded until um, there's some sort of a, an end of due process. There's rumors going around from people. J.J. Uh, Schofield says he saw um, John West and I guess you uh, or, you know, maybe Dan DeYoung, um, Talking together out of school or something. What were we talking about? That's what's important. It's not talking. So just because two of us make a quorum doesn't mean we can't talk to each other. It's serial. This is really important. Serial deliberation. Not just deliberation. Serial. Serial deliberation means where you deliberate a little bit, little bits and pieces, yeah. you know, over a period of time. So it's not just deliberations, it's serial deliberations. And, you know, I've had commissioners 
and I'm not going to mention names, start talking about something, and I'll turn around and I say, put it on the agenda. Okay? Because it's really e easy to start talking about an issue and not sure. realize yeah. that, hey, you you're know, going over the line. You're going yeah. over the line. And I always say, put it on the agenda. Throw it on the agenda. You know? And it's just as easy to talk about it there. Yeah. You know? So I, I could go to you and I, I could say, um, I'm going to put uh, Department X on the agenda over this issue next week. That's not deliberating. Yeah. That's, I'm just telling you what I'm going to do. Understood. We're going to talk yeah. about it in the meeting then. So, but, you know, Dan and I have a lot in common with cars. We used to sit in the office sometimes, you know, and talk about cars and catalogs. And, you know, DeYoung is very knowledgeable in that and helps yes, me he out. Is. I've heard him talk about cars quite a bit. <laughs> quite a bit. It's kind of hard to talk to Dan without talking about cars. And, and we just can talk about, I call it fluff. It's just conversation. It's just we can't talk about county business and serial deliberate. Remember, it's not just deliberation. I think that's where politicians get things wrong. They say, well, we're not deliberating. But are you serial deliberating? Are you deliberating in little bits and pieces? Hmm. So this conversation, I say a little bit. Tomorrow, I say a little bit. And the next day, I say a little bit. That's serial deliberation. Hmm. You have to be uh, mindful of that, too. Um, I would imagine, first of all, I'd, I'd need a... Um you know, a definition of that that contained an example. I'll give you an example. Let's use the sportsman park. You're the other commissioner. Have you heard that the sportsman's park, we, we have a violation of a, of a grant? You mm. say no. Oh, no, and I have, tomorrow have not I, heard that. And then tomorrow I say, you know, the violation of the grant, the next day I say, the violation of the grant was the cell tower. Mm. And you say, mm. Mm. and then you say, did you know that that violation we will have to p try to find another comparable piece of property uh, to trade yes. it. You're, so, you're, you're building a case. Yes. That's what you're doing. That's, yes. You got it now. That's yeah. a serial delivery. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. I think it's helpful. People don't know this. I didn't know this <laughs> prior to, to these uh, series of interviews here. I, um, I knew that there was something. I, I thought if you were coming out of your office and you saw somebody coming in the other side of the office, you had to turn around and go the other way. No, something. no, 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 no. And, you know, in the Senate, it, it's even a little more complicated because you'll have five people on a committee. Okay, so it takes three to have a quorum. Mm -hmm. But then you do all these functions all the time together. You know, you go to dinner and stuff like that. And you, you're looking around like if, if you and I are on a committee, we can talk all kinds of all the merits of any of the issue. But if there's one more person there, then we can't. So mm -hmm. you have to look around and say, is there three of us here? Yeah, that's right. So yeah. it gets even a little more complicated in the Senate. Yeah. Uh, interesting. So, um so what's your angle on that? Have you observed any of that? They're suggesting that they, he's doing this all the time. And when they say public meeting law, that's what they're talking about. They're, they're not talking about he's running the meeting the wrong way. No. They're, they're talking about that he's having um, inappropriate uh, He's deliberating discussion. outside a public yeah. meeting. Bingo. Yeah, Bingo. that's what he's doing. Okay, so now it says, and is facing currently facing several pending ethics and labor law violations so what yeah right. they, every time somebody's been mad at me in the senate i get another ethics complaint i've never had I, they've all all been dismissed you remember that walkout we did i led that yes. walkout yeah. the big walkout and everything i can't when we finally came back i had a, hundreds of them yeah. yeah and so i actually it was so many it was just absolutely unbelievable and so I had to set up a legal defense fund, which was a pain in the neck. Then I had to get donations to fund it. Then I had to get an attorney. And and anyways, it was a year and a half process and everything. But wow. when all the dust settled, it was about $55,000 attorney bill, and every single one was dismissed. You know what? I, I I see this going on. And and listen, Lily Morgan's got this going on in Gold Hill right now. Yep. So she should be one of the first ones to step up and say that um, these ethics uh, things, th th these are not a finding of guilt on anybody. Mm -hmm. They should cast no shadow uh, over somebody's uh, future on, on the basis of these. Now, 
it is certainly within the realm of possibility that an ethics complaint um you know bears fruit somehow mm-hmm. and and the person really is corrupt and right. and there's a finding of fact on that but you should not make any judgment at all prior to some sort of due process and the Oregon Government Ethics Commission has dismissed a set of complaints made against members of the Board of Josephine County Commissioners. The complaints were made by the county's former HR director. The complaint involved possible violations to policies and procedures during a meeting that took place at the end of April. A motion was made to dismiss the complaints and end the preliminary investigation. Each motion passed five to three and all three matters were dismissed.